Alright, what's up guys? I'm Grafafloff. Today we have another Pokemon Showdown NU Live. So, today we have a team full of some really weird stuff. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and go over the team. So, we have Choice Specs Altaria. I think I said let's go over the team twice. Oops, whatever. Uh, we have Specially Defensive Politoed. Physically Defensive Superior. I'm really not sure how this one's gonna work out. <laughs> um, Choice Scarf, Switcheroo, Arbok. Toxic or wall breaking eradicate, and of course, so best seismitoad, which it, which actually does really really well. I think I ended up getting to like 50th on the ladder a couple days ago with a team that had an assault best seismitoad on it. Although the only reason I got that high on the ladder was because I had a Dusclops on my team, and Dusclops is so broken because if you can get rid of their Pokemon with knockoff, you win. That's it. You just straight up win. Anyways, oh oh boy. What could he lead out with? I could not guess. Nope. No. Nope. nope, I couldn't guess. Alright, well, I'm gonna lead out with Superior. He's probably gonna go into something that's not this, but I don't want to risk it, because so many people are just like, Rocks are important or the life. Yes, important or Um. Now, generally, Cryogonals don't have speed investment. And looking at his team, he has nothing else that would be specially defensive. And or if this is specially defensive, nothing that would be physically defensive. So this is defensive for sure. And nope, he's got speed investment. That's really weird. I guess he's just like a hyper offense team. I'm not all too worried about it because this hits really hard as well as this has grass knot. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go and eradicate now. Because if he wants to switch out or go for a non-attacking move for some reason, then uh, uh, I'll get burned this turn, and then I'll be able to hit really hard. Or no, I have Toxic Orb, so I'll be able to get toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know what he wants to do from here. All right, he's gonna go out into Seismitoad. Now I, I, he can easily Oko me, but at the same time, I don't really care and a facade's still gonna hit him really hard. You gotta love how people prioritize rocks over saving their Pokemon just because I have one thing weak to it. Like, I've had people sacrifice a Pokemon at the beginning of a game to get up rocks, like a very important Pokemon on their team, when I have nothing weak to it, including, in, the, in that nothing weak to it, there are resistances including. Don't be that guy, because it's just stupid. You get a little bit of chip damage, but that one Pokemon can probably make up for all the chip damage you get. Anyways, um, so I know I can 2-8 KO this, and if I can't, then I'll just probably switch out into my own seismic toad, because it's not like you can really do anything to that, like an earthquake will probably do about 50%, and that's about it. Is it that hard? You're just gonna click Stealth Rocks. I know what you're gonna do. Like, you're not even a good player, you're just an obvious player, and with a stupid team. Um, and by stupid, I mean broken, and literally the only broken thing on his team is for Alligator. Arguably Archeops, which I haven't seen anyone complain about being broken so far, but in my experience, I feel like Archeops is a bit too powerful for this tier, because it okos everything so long as it's not in Defeatist, and you can just run Roost, uh, so, yeah. I don't know, maybe that's just my experience. Dude, it's not even hard. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until he goes because he's taking forever. Anyways, we were back. Starting out the uh, the session with forfeits. Cool, cool. I don't even know why that guy forfeited or technically ran out of time because like there was <laughs> there was no reason. Did he go into another tab and forget that he had showdown open? I mean, I've done that before. Okay, can we join the battle? All right, cool. Um, yes, this dude knows what's up, although he's probably running the wrong set. Uh, this better be named COD Franchise and or Sex Machine. Um, uh, probably Endure Weakness Policy, these only do one thing. Uh, Specs, Scarf, or Expert Belt. Yeah, and then this is just bad. You don't run a Dusclops on your team unless it's offensive, because Dusknoir is the thing. I mean, I'm or rather, other way around. You don't run a Dusknoir on your team, because Dusclops is the thing. Um, like, there's literally no reason. He's gonna lead out with, uh... Why is this not named COD Franchise? I 
I actually typed that to him, in case you're wondering. Uh, I think that'd be obvious since you heard the typing noises, but whatever, I ate Kerr. I ate Kerr. Um, I'm gonna Earth Power again. He does outspeed me, but two layers of spike shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. He's gonna go out and Drifling, which is perfectly, perfectly okay with me because I have nothing to hit him super effectively. He's gonna go for an Endure, I guess, predicting me to have Knock Off, but I don't know why I would have Knock Off if I have Earth Power. I obviously have Scald. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this dude. Whatever, he's gonna sack his Drifling, which is cool. Um, <laughs> yay. Uh, he's gonna go out and back mortar now. Uh, gee, I, uh, oh, gee, oh boy, I wonder if perhaps he could have uh, Hidden Power Grass. Certainly not. I'm gonna go out into... I'm gonna go out into Arbok. He only set up one layer of spikes. That's nice. Um, yeah, oh, gee, oh boy. Could that perhaps be Hidden Power Grass? Certainly not. His team is super weak to ground types. So, yeah, because this is weak. This is weak. This is four times weak, and this is dead, so. Alright, he's gonna, I guess, sack his bastion on. Did he not know that I was gonna go? Okay, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna protect for no reason. That is, that is fantastic. Um, like, my last one did 56%. There's a pretty decent chance that this will kill, and if not, then he's gonna grab rocks, and that's gonna suck. Because I don't have a defogger or a, uh, spinner on this team. I'm not sure why I do, because NU is full of- Oh, or I could get minimum damage. That would be- that would be fantastic. Although, at a certain point, I'm just gonna kind of kill things without having to switch out, so it doesn't really matter. Um, anyways... What is he gonna go into now? I'm thinking... I'm thinking he ha he has to go out into Dusknor or Faberil. Faberil is definitely a better choice, but I can't actually play for this guy, so yeah. He's gonna go out into Dusknor. Okay, that's a decent play. Um, I'm gonna go out into... Could go out into... Uh, uh, Polytoad, rather. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. And then, if he wants to burn me or whatever, it's fine. He's going to go for a Trick Room. That's weird when you have a Magmortar on your team. But who am I to judge? I'm gonna just go for a Scald. He's going to burn me for no reason, though. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, I don't get the burn. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Scald here. Um, hopefully we get the burn. I don't actually need Polytoad for anything, seeing as this has Thunderbolt. Um... So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Scald. I could Perish Song Trap this thing, but I don't really need to. As well as I can stall out uh, turns of Trick Room with this, so burn! Yes! <laughs> Finally, that took way too long. Alright, and now, uh, Scald one more time, and then from there, I think, maybe I'll go into, okay, that was a great play. I don't know why he did that. All he did was, I guess maybe it was misclick. like, benefit of the doubt, am I right? Oh, and now I outspeed him, and I, I think I can kill him. Uh, if not, burn damage kills him. That was, that, that will o was a, was the mark of a truly fantastic player. Um, so, okay, we're gonna get a crit and Dust Nord dies. Uh, alright, looks like our luck is turning around, sorta. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna go back out in no I don't want Arbok to take too much hazard damage Altaria yeah let's go into Altaria because Altaria can Draco anything that comes in and it'll die if not this will die to two for sure um okay yeah it'll die it should die to two and if it doesn't then that's gonna suck but I don't really need Altaria either so yeah oh yeah definitely not gonna die to two now um but it'll die to three, so meh. He's just gonna return, and that's not gonna kill. He does have quick attack, though, like every single baby roll ever, so no point in getting her hopes up. And now, um, going to Superior, because we outspeed this thing, and he's not just gonna quick attack us, and I'm gonna go for, okay, he is just gonna quick attack us. I, I forgot that most of these are special instead of physical. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, wonder what he could go out into right now. Seriously? That was, like, such a terrible play. <laughs> that was such a bad play. Um, whatever. I don't actually need this anymore. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, see if I can hit. I cannot. Um, go into Arbok now. 
and with that free switch, I'll be able to Earthquake twice. If he wants to switch out, I'll kill that, and then he'll switch back in, and I'll kill this. Um, he might live one with this, yeah, so that was definitely his better play. Now I'm going to go ahead and go out into Raticate, and Raticate is going to go ahead and go for a Sucker Punch on the off chance that he's Scarfed, and if he's not Scarfed, then he's going to switch out into Garbodor, or if he Specs, rather, then he's going to switch out into Garbodor, and I can facade this, and I don't see any way that I don't kill this. Okay, he's going to protect, being an obnoxious pile of trash, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, yes, I was, uh, I was partially talking about Garbodor there. Partially. Yeah, okay, he has aftermath, aftermath, that's fine. Now he goes out into Magmortar and I win the game because he is obviously carrying four attacks. So, whatever happens, I just sucker punch and he dies. Yay! Are you gonna say GG or no? He is. Okay, so I'll say it back. Okay, he left. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna chat. GG. There we go. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and find another battle. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see what the fourth move on my Raticate is. Did I actually make it Flame Wheel? I did. I couldn't remember if I made it Flame Wheel or not, despite me just seeing Raticate. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and find another battle here. Hopefully we don't get any more forfeits, because forfeits are annoying. Um, I'm gonna pause until we find a battle. Be right back. Okay, we're back, and... I'm fighting a team that's really good, but it looks like it'd be really bad, which is weird. I'm gonna go out into Superior, uh, because everyone leads out with Seismic Toad, uh, except this guy. Apparently, I'm not worried about this, though. I'm not especially defensive. I am physically defensive, but I can still knock off his Lumberry. Okay. I do not know what this guy is up to shenanigans-wise. Um, I could go into Altaria, or that, seeing as how he took a knockoff so well, he's physically defensive, as far as I can tell. So we're gonna go out into Altaria, and he has nothing that wants to take a flamethrower other than Seismitoad, and I don't see why he'd switch into Seismitoad, except that he's going to anyways. Fantastic. Alright, well, I'm gonna go out into Superior. And he's gonna set up some stealth rocks. That's that's fine. Um, what item is he? Cause I didn't knock off Seismic Toad. I, I don't. Maybe he's like safety goggles or something. I don't know. Um, whatever. He's probably gonna he, he switches out into Cryog and all. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible play. Well, I'm not gonna do the same thing that I did last time because that worked out so well last time. Um. <laughs> And do I even need this actually? Because his only physical attackers are uh, strong against me, so I'm gonna risk it anyways. And I do have speed. You see, see, it wasn't a bad play last time. It was not a bad play. And now he's dead, so that's good. He's gonna go out into Executor. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and taunt here if he wants the psychic. That's actually gonna suck a lot. But yeah, he's just gonna go straight for a psychic. That's okay. Um. Seeing as he wants to do that, I could go out into Politoed, predicting him to be uh, a set that doesn't carry a grass type move, which is fairly common, actually. Uh, yeah, kind of gonna do that anyways, because this has freeze dry, so yeah, I can't really touch that, and that's his main special attacker. And then this thing I can't kill with Politoed, anyways, not even if I wanted to. I can take one. Okay, that does less damage than Facade, but whatever. Who am I to judge? <laughs> All right, so now you probably bring Seismitoad in. Exeggutor, that was stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for an Ice Beam. I don't really care what he does. Um, oh, and I get the freeze. Okay, um, I don't really feel bad about that because I, <laughs> I mean, I get it's not gonna matter in the long run. Like this might have been able to kill me, but then he would have just switched out in Lapras and gone for a freeze dry. Or switch into Seismitoad and gone for an Earth Power and killed me. So, I mean, this wouldn't have done much damage to my team anyways, because I outspeed it with absolutely everything. Um, he's complaining about hacks, and I mean, I would too, but it, like, looking at it, it did not matter. Okay, he's gonna go ahead into Armaldo now. I know I outspeed Armaldo, so maybe it did matter, but he shouldn't have gone into Armaldo. That's his fault. He's just playing badly. It's not my fault that I got the freeze. Alright. 
I'm gonna go out in two Seismitoad, and Seismitoad is going to go ahead and go for an Earth Power because um, it hits everything on his team. Like, I could go for a Scald, but he has two things with Water Absorb, and I'm definitely not about that life. Uh, now I can just go ahead and Grass Knot whatever comes in. Well, actually, I'm not gonna Grass Knot the Lapras because Lapras carries Freeze Dry quite frequently, so I don't want to get hit by a Freeze Dry. That would actually be a bad thing. Um, might as well try and keep Superior around. Uh, Arbok does nothing, except for maybe it takes one hit and then goes for a poison jab, but it definitely can't do anything to Seismitoad, so he is the Whirlpool Parish Song Trap Bing thing, yay. Um, well, what I can do here is I can go for a switcheroo, lock him into Parish Song, and then I can get off a couple um, poison jabs, so yay. Or he can just switch out here. Either one is fine, but if he wants to switch out... Okay, wow, that was a terrible, terrible play. Alright, poison, please. Please, please. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Fantastic. I don't know why you would do that, because obviously I can go ahead and just switch out. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go into... I mean, what, what I'm gonna do is... Wait, how much does Seismitoad... How much does Seismitoad's... Um... 252 modest how much does seismitoad's grass not why would i carry earthquake and earth power like that's not even no no one does that that's stupid grass not against a normal seismitoad is going to be doing almost er, enough to kill and definitely enough to kill from where this thing is so i'm just going to switch straight out into seismitoad um, I don't seem being able to do anything to me. He's gonna go ahead and just go for an earthquake. Yeah um, And now grass knot will be able to kill this or deal a lot of damage to Lapras because Lapras is fat How does how is that a contact move? Can someone explain to me? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a grass knot here. Grass knot should do a pretty decent actually no um, I might not even be able to hit it seeing as it's scarfed, but then again, he is the uh, Whirlpool Parish Trapping Set. He's gonna give me some HP. Fantastic. This guy, this guy knows his stuff. Maybe he thought I was Poison Touch with no physical moves. No, no, that wouldn't be the benefit of the doubt. He would just be bad. I mean, I get, okay, alternatively, that could be his only attacking move. He's just gonna forfeit. Uh, seriously, you couldn't just take two seconds of your time to click <laughs> to click whirlpool okay um whatever anyways this this is gonna be annoying and this is this is gonna be even more annoying all right so i'm gonna lead with eradicate because eradicate outspeeds jinx so i'll be able to figure out whether it is scarfed or sash and then i'll u-turn out into probably superior and then from there i go out his seismitoad or you turn out into superior, fall asleep, go out into seismitoad, and then go for an earth power and kill it. So, he is actually scarfed, and we're gonna kill him in one hit. Don't run lovely kiss, maybe? I don't know. I have been getting pretty good hacks this session, which is fantastic. Um, anyways, if I go into this, he'll go into shift tree. If I go into this, he'll go into a cell gore. If you go into this, he'll go into golurk. If I go into altaria, he'll go into grand bowl. And if I go into Seismitoad, he'll go out into Shift Tree. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go out into Seismitoad anyways. Um, and then he's gonna go out into Shift Tree. And then from there, I'll go out into Altaria. Uh, essentially get away with no damage done. And then... From here, unless he goes for a knockoff, which would be annoying. Whatever. <laughs> okay, he's a bad set, we're good. Um, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just go for a flamethrower here. I could go for a Moonblast or a Draco, but in all fairness, he's just gonna do that, so there's no point. Um, actually, I'm gonna go into, uh, go out into Arbok now, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Crunch, because if he stays in right now, I'm gonna slap this dude. He goes out into Dugong. Oh, God. Um, alright. What is this gonna do? Um... It's probably Hayden's set, to be honest here, because I've never seen a Dugong used other than by myself. Um, I don't even think I saw one used in PU. Oh, you got me. Encoring my choice Arbok. This dude knows what's up. But yeah, it is Hayden's set with Stockpile and Encore. So, cool.
All right, he's gonna go out into shift tree now. That's fine. I don't know. Whatever. Um, last time he went for a knockoff, I highly doubt he's gonna do the same thing again. But this time I'm gonna go out into superior. Although I can't really touch it, but he can't do anything to me. He's gonna go for a leaf storm. That's gonna do nothing, despite me being physically defensive. Uh, this turn he's just gonna go for a knockoff though, so I'm just gonna go for a leaf blade. Leaf blade should be able to kill him hopefully after the um, damage he takes from the from life orb was what I was trying to say. All right, um, I'm gonna go out into Arbok now because I should outspeed him. I am scarfed. He's gonna get <laughs> intimidated. Totally mattered. Totally mattered. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for a crunch here because I'm not sure if it'll kill, but he's probably gonna go out into Golurk. He does, and I predict him. Ha! Except that has nothing, and I get the defense drop. Oh my god. Um, still not gonna matter, though, but it's really, really funny anyways. I'm gonna go out into Superior because he's probably gonna go for an Earthquake, and if not, then I can probably take whatever he wants to go for, unless it's a an Ice Punch. Because Ice Punch would suck. Um, I'm going to go for a Leech Seed here. I want a little bit more recovery. As well as nothing else really wants to take a play rough from this thing. Except for maybe Arbok. He's going to go for an Ice Punch anyways. This dude does not play mo any more than zero steps ahead. He plays what's in front of him and that's it. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and intimidate him. If he goes for an Ice Punch it won't do too much seeing as it's not Thab. He's going to switch out anyways. He goes out into his Selgor. I'm going to just go for a crunch no i'm gonna go for a poison jab this time um he's probably gonna switch out into no he switches out into grand bull predicting the crunch but i went for poison jab ha ha and i get the poison um this dude has been hacked quite a bit although the only thing that really mattered was him missing the lovely kiss if you can even consider that one mattering um grand bull's gonna die because he would have just put this to sleep and then i would have killed it with something else so. um Although it probably did matter in the long run, let's let's be real here. I'm gonna go out into Superior now, and Superior is going to probably take a hit and die, to be honest with you. And then from there, I'll go out into Seismitoad. He's gonna set up Stealth Rocks despite me having nothing weak to it and the chip damage not even mattering at all, like not in the slightest. I'm gonna go for a knockoff because he's probably gonna go out into Shiftry. Okay. Um, Oh, balls, that did nothing, and now he doesn't have a life orb. That's that's bad. That is actually just bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Leaf Blade. He can't kill me, I don't think. I outspeed him. That's funny. Um, does he have... Does this, yeah, it gets pickpocket. Why would you even carry that? That's just dumb. I mean, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to Arbok, get off the Intimidate. And then from there, I'm going to just go for a poison jab, hoping to get a poison on Golurk if he switches it in. But then again, I'm not predicting him to do that. He does. Okay, fair enough. Poison? Nah. All right, that yeah, that's fine. I have gotten quite a bit of packs so far already. All right, I'm gonna go out into uh, Politoed. Politoed can probably take a hit, and if not, then uh, that's a shame. Oh, yay! Yay. Okay. Um. I retract my previous statement. Any hacks that I've gotten in this battle does not matter because he is using a douchebag Golurk. So, Ice Beam, that's not going to kill. I am specially defensive, and I don't think this thing carries Giga Drain or Energy Ball. Although it easily could be wrong, I don't really have the, uh, I'm not really in the position to be able to switch out right now. He's going to go for a Giga Drain. My confusion ends. Fantastic. And that's going to die. He played that badly, in my opinion. He should have saved that for Seismitoad, and then right there, he should have gone into Shiftry, but whatever. He goes out into Shiftry now. That's okay. He's probably just going to go ahead and go for a Seed Bomb. Um, no, he's going to go for a Knockoff. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. All right, I'm going to go out into... I know I outspeed with this, although he might be able to just Oko me after the Hazard's damage. I'm semi-tempted to believe that he only has Leaf Storm, but ah, uh, that actually wouldn't matter, never mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead to Arbok again, and I could go for a Sucker Punch, or no, I don't have Sucker Punch, never mind. I really don't think that I can live a Sucker Punch, I'm gonna go for a Switcheroo here. He goes out into Dugong, so I will be able to take its leftovers, which is nice. Um. I don't see him being able to do too much to me. Although, I probably should switch out anyways. Um, he's Scarf now, so he can probably go for, like, an Ice Beam, and that's about it. 
Uh, okay, he's gonna encore me despite him being scarfed. MLG plays. Uh, I'm gonna go for Sludge Bomb in case he wants to switch into Shift Tree, and if he does not, then I'll be able to kill this most likely, so. We should be fine in this scenario here. Uh, poison, poison, please, come on, come on. I've done that twice now. Um, Alright, I just go for a Scald here. He should switch into Shift Tree now. That is what he should do, but I don't think he will. He does. Wow, impressive. Burn. Burn. Ugh. Oh. All right. Well, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Arbok here. He's going to kill off Arbok. Hopefully, please kill off Arbok. Please, please kill Arbok. Good. And now what I can do is go into Radicate. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for a, I guess, just flame wheel. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. Yeah, because it's neutral against everything. You guys had a dugong of all things? Whatever. <laughs> we get the burn with flame wheel, but not with the two scalds. Okay. Uh, how, yeah, it's just a 10% chance. So, I'm gonna go for a U-turn here. He goes at Nagolurk. Dang it. He should have switched into Shift Tree. <laughs> Would have made my life a whole lot easier. All right, well, go into Seismic Toad. And what are you at, Shift Tree? You're at 15%. You can't live a Scald. So I just go for a Scald, and Scald either kills Shift Tree or kills this. So long as... Um, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. He goes into Dugong. Okay, that was a pretty good play, actually. Um, I don't think he can really do that much to me, though. How, how heavy is Dugong? Dugong. All right. This could take forever to load. That'd be cool. Um, Dugong's like 264 pounds. I don't know if that's going to be enough for, gla for Grass Knock. Okay, he's going to go for a Parish Song. Cool. Um, why would you have Encore Parish Song? That doesn't even make whatever. I don't know why he would bother Parish Songing me. Um, he's gonna go into Shiftry. Uh, that was a pretty good play. I don't know what the Parish Song was about, though. <laughs> he probably should have just gotten damage off with Ice Beam, in case this, for some reason, didn't kill. Alright, so... How much does Golurk at? 82%. Yeah, that's game. I'm gonna go out into Radicate now. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Sucker Punch. Hey, hey, no preemptive GG's. Not, not here. Not. No. Screw you. Well, Shifty dies, which is nice. And now, it all comes down to whether I can Oka Golurk, and I highly doubt that. Because yes, I am Guts, but... <laughs> Raticate is not the Pokemon with the highest attack by any means, and this isn't Stab, and Golurk is pretty bulky, so... I'm not gonna say GG to this guy, because he said it preemptively. Um, he's gonna go for Stealth Rock. Okay, sure. Flame Wheel. I believe he's gonna just go for it twice in a row. Uh, if I'm wrong, that's gonna suck. Yeah, okay. And now, seeing as I went for Flame Wheel, he's probably gonna attack this turn. No, probably not. Whatever. Uh, not saying GG, because you're a cunt. Um, alright, that's gonna be the end of the session. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that last guy, I mean, I have no problem with him, and he definitely played well, considering he won, threw out a bunch of hacks, but don't say GG preemptively, because you don't know what could happen, as well as it just makes you look like an overall asshole. So, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.